Alex, have time for a quick chat? Yeah, sure. Welcome to Progress, one of our five main campuses. Where can I go to eat on campus? Well, my personal favorite is The Local. It's our on-campus restaurant that is 100% led by students in our culinary program. What are some good ways to get involved? A couple of ways. We have our student association that you could join, or we have a couple of different diverse clubs that you could join as well. Let's talk about health and fitness. What's available? We have our athletic facility, and a really cool fact is we have our very own rock climbing wall. It's pretty cool. Cool. What if I just want to go for a walk? Well, behind our Progress Campus, we have our Highland Creek Conservation Area. Oh, and the Morningside Campus is a really cool place for calm as well. You know, I've always wanted to fly a drone. What do you have for me? Well, you're in luck because at the Downsview Campus, we have our very own drone lab. Accommodations for out-of-towners? Well, attached to this building, we have our amazing residence facility that has an honor system store on the main floor, and they have some really cool Lego walls. Does Centennial offer financial support for students? 100%. We have millions of dollars dedicated towards scholarships, bursaries, and awards. So after filling out our doors to dollar survey, you get to see which ones you qualify for. And how are classes being delivered these days? Well, flexibility is our new normal, and we've modified a few of our courses to reflect that. So our courses are running in person, online, and we have a few hybrids that include both. Where can students with individual education plans and learning disabilities get support? So I would recommend getting in contact with our Center for Accessible Learning and Counseling Services, and they'll hook you up with all the accommodations you need to be successful. How would I further my education? Easy. Pathways. We have thousands of diploma and degree pathway partnerships, and we also have our very own grad certs and degree programs. Mm, what's the largest classroom? I would have to say the hangar at the Downsview campus. You could fit an executive jet in there. What are your favorite spaces across all campuses? Well, we have our automotive labs, we have our culinary labs, and can't forget about our event center. So I'd have to say all of our experiential learning labs are pretty cool. Oh, and we also have our high fidelity nursing facility simulation. Uh, it's kind of creepy, but it's pretty cool. What's new at Progress Campus right now? So at Centennial, we're always investing in new student facilities. So in 2023, we'll be opening this new building. Tell me more. Centennial College consulted with our indigenous community to infuse their design principles and teachings. The building will feature flexible classroom space, informal touchdown spaces for students to connect, and purpose-built labs for a school of engineering, technology, and applied science programs. Above all, it will be a beautiful and welcoming place of learning for all people, embodying the approach of the place of reconciliation for all our relations. What about the Story Arts Campus? Ah, so we actually just opened up a library on that campus. Best dressed students? Hmm. I would have to say students in our culinary and hospitality programs, our pre-service fire programs, our police foundation, and our paramedics. So all students in our uniform programs. How does Centennial prepare students for the working world? So all our programs go through a rigorous review with our industry partners just to ensure that our graduates are career ready. And our faculty, they have endless experience in that field as well. Can you give us an example? Sure. Look at our School of Transportation. It's considered one of Canada's largest transportation trainers and the facilities echo the exact working conditions that they're going to be in after graduation. How else do you engage employers and students? So we have hundreds of employer partnerships and we have co-ops. And the students get to participate in a mock simulation each year that includes community partners. I heard a rumor that we can get free clothes to land our dream job. Not a rumor. Head to the basement of the Student Center and they'll hook you up. Okay, let's hear it. Who are your coolest grads? Well, the new voice of Bugs Bunny, who is Eric Bauza, is a Centennial grad, and he's pretty cool. But in my humble opinion, I think every Centennial grad is pretty cool. All right, last but not least, how do I join a campus tour? So head over to centennialcollege.ca, click on Visit Us, and book your tour there. Hope to see you.